it will no longer help for our so-called friends to adopt pious postures and preach non-violence when our enemies are busy inflicting mental and physical violence on us. We shall no longer just watch the races of Pretoria devise improvements to their machinery of terror and repression. We should no longer just be outraged. We must act. In the words of my worthy predecessor, we cannot pretend that we are unaware of the machinations and conspiracy against our continent by not just the races of South Africa, but even by those who pretend to be the friends of this continent, but whose sole interest is in what they can get out of us. <clears throat> the black people of the world are drawing nearer the stage of direct involvement in the struggle against apartheid in South Africa. We as a nation will acquit ourselves creditably when that stage is reached. We wish to salute the courage of our brothers and sisters who are in the front line of the struggle in Southern Africa. We wish to recall and pay due homage to the heroes of Soweto and others involved in the June 16, 1976 challenge to apartheid. We are aware of their continuing struggle and sacrifice and the heroic stand of the youth and students of South Africa. We take cognizance of their potential. The undaunted use of Soweto are the new additional weapons which the system of apartheid has designed. In time, this new weapon will be harnessed with others to destroy apartheid. 